Joining us now, Missouri Senator Josh Hawley. He weighed in last night calling TikTok a, quote, geyser of terrorist propaganda and the most effective surveillance tool a foreign government invented. Senator Hawley joins us now. Senator, if that's the case, and I believe you know a lot more about this than I do, if that's the case, why do we allow Americans to even download it? Why aren't we stopping it? We should be stopping it, Sean. We should ban it. And listen, I think communist China right now is just laughing. I mean, you've got Joe Biden who is bowing and scraping and begging Xi to be nice to him while China walks all over us. And then you've got TikTok, which is basically the social media arm of the Chinese Communist Party. And they're spewing this anti-American propaganda, this virulent anti-Israel, anti-Semitic propaganda. And I think they're just sitting back and they can't believe that we're letting them get away with it. We shouldn't be letting them get away with it. John, here's the deal on TikTok. It tracks everything you do on your phone. It tracks everywhere you go, every text message you send every email you write, and it's all that information, all of it's available to the Chinese Communist Party. It's an espionage tool. It's a propaganda machine, and we ought to ban it. I, I, I know I've heard people like you say it, and I'll be honest, Senator, I have so much respect for you. Uh, I don't know as much about it. Believe it or not, my staff does not trust me with my own social media, and I have no access to it. Uh, I got into too many fights with Alec Baldwin and Jimmy Kimmel and many other famous people. So I don't even know the passwords to my account at this point. But in all seriousness, if we know this, that would be a clear and present danger to our national security, just like Joe's open borders is a clear and present danger to our national security. These are basic, simple, fundamental things that our government ought to be doing, and they're not doing it. They seem to want to talk more about climate change than anything else. Yeah, I mean, you think about this. Joe Biden here, he wants to beg China to be nice to him because he's so focused on trying to destroy this economy. He's so focused on all the foreign wars that he's embroiled in. So here he is begging China. He doesn't want to get crosswise with him. Joe Biden also doesn't want to offend these voters. I mean, the increasingly radical fringe element in this country that are his base. I mean, this pro-Palestinian, <laughs> pro-Hamas people, you see him rioting at the DNC. That's the new base of the Democrat Party. He's desperately afraid to offend them. So he doesn't want to do anything about any of this. And the truth is, Sean, we ought to be standing up here for what is true, what is right, and also, frankly, what is good for America. It is not good for America to have a spy app out there where the Chinese Communist Party can track everything we do. And I'll just point this out. You know, the United States military, all branches of the armed forces, have banned service members from having TikTok and using TikTok. It's because it's a security threat. It's because they don't want them tracked by communist China. We should protect our kids in the same way. We well, ought to ban this thing. Senator, well then, then can you explain why every U.S. senator, every congressman, every elected official is not united if that's the case? How come that's not being accomplished? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with money, if you want to be honest, Sean. I mean, TikTok, like all these other big tech companies, has a powerful, powerful lobby in Washington, D.C. You know how this goes. Follow the money always. And what you've seen is TikTok has spent millions and millions of dollars trying to say, oh, no, actually, it, it's OK. We don't we don't really spy on you. We protect Americans data. It's all false. We've had whistleblowers come forward from TikTok and say America's personal information, our personal information is available and accessible in China, that members of the Chinese Communist Party can access it. I don't want that for my kids. I don't want that for any American. And we ought to take a stand here and ban this thing. We appreciate it. Senator Josh Hawley, always great to have you, sir. We appreciate you being with us.